Amen. Amen. Well, welcome, 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 welcome. We appreciate every single one of you for joining us today for Kingdom Ambassadors' first ever orientation. Yeah, come on, let's get some round of applause, some praises going on there. All right, amen. Well, we're going to get started. We have a slide that we're going to um, put on. It's not going to be death by PowerPoint today. Amen. But we are going to have just a few talking points for you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, we have our slideshow up here. And just out of, you know, uh, curiosity, how many people do we have on the West this morning? You can raise your hands. I know we're all Unmute on. Unmute yourselves. Unmute yourselves. Tell us. <laughs> you got some West Coast family in the house. I'm here. I'm on the West Coast. We are on our own. All right. <laughs> it is nine in the morning here. <laughs> Oh, we got one, Sister Stacy. Amen. How about Midwest? We got Midwest in the house as far as like central time zone. Oh, yeah, that would be me. So you have to be specific. <laughs> you don't know where they live at right now. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm close to the Midwest. It's central time. Zone. Okay. Somebody said, I don't live in Iowa. Iowa ain't the only. <laughs> that is awesome. East Coast, where you at? Are you? All right. Okay. So we got all the time zones covered, you all. Mountain is on Pacific time. So we're going to include them in there today. Okay. <laughs> well, amen. That is awesome. That is awesome. We have everybody on every time zone here today. And that is awesome because we're not physically meeting, but we're meeting virtually. Um, and once upon a time, we were not able to do that. Um, so if I can just get a couple of you that want to just introduce yourselves and um, tell a little bit about you and why you are here today. Don't everybody jump at once. <laughs> Amen. Raise your Hello, hand. I'm Stacy. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. I'm Stacy. I'm in California. And um, a couple of reasons why I'm here is one, I sought the Lord and the Lord told me that this is where I am to be. Um, and two, um, I've also served and worshiped with Prophet Guy and Pastor Wynette. And so um, I am fully confident in that one, they have uh, their character, you know, is, is impeccable. They served um, so um, having leaders who don't mind being servants, that, that was amazing to me as well. Um, and I know that they love the Lord and they are about the kingdom. And that is what was utmost important for me. And so that's why I'm here. Amen. Praise God. Thank you so much for that. Do we have another that would like to just share a little bit about why you are here today? If not, we will continue on. Amen. Praise God. All right. Well, okay. Next I'll tell while I'm while I'm here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Amen. Let me let me put myself on the spotlight. Amen. <laughs> I'm here because I believe that the Lord. I know most people think that you got to be here if you're the pastor. That is not true. You can walk away. Amen. People do it all of the time. But the reason I'm here is because I believe in the mission that the Lord said that He has. He said He has an end time movement that will reach the loss and equip people to, to, to know the word. I was, I, you know, I've been in church. I mean, literally almost like born on the pew, you know, my entire life been a minister since I was six years old in Detroit, Michigan. And one thing that I learned is that you can sit there and know nothing. And a lot of people are content to do that, but I want to be involved. I want to be, I want to, I always wanted to be a person that at the end of the day, the Lord would say, well done. You did, you did what you were meant to do. I, I refuse to die full. And, and uh, this platform, Kingdom Ambassadors Global Network, it allows me to do my part. My part is to teach and to equip, equip, amen. And then to see the fruit which is people becoming who they're supposed to be. So that's why I joined. Amen. I would like to say something too. 
because the reason yeah. I didn't say anything before is because um, part of the sign up asked what, and we've been talking about what can you do, what do you bring, and how has the Lord led you? Well, I don't have a church home, so you are not fishbowl fishing when I join up. Um, and then also uh, the, the uh, Infinite series um, where Christ uh, gave, the, gave the disciples food to give out to the, the masses. You had a lot of good points in there. The one thing that I walked away with is that you have to have people that are willing to serve. And it doesn't matter if you recognize that you're in the midst of a, a miracle, but if you're willing to serve, then, then you can feed the masses. So that's why I'm here. Praise God. Amen. Much. And that, <laughs> that's huge because that's exactly what we need. We need servants. Even scripture talks about the harvest being ripe, but the laborers are few. Well, who are the laborers? They are the servants. Amen. So we thank God. I thank God for you all sharing. Um, next slide, please. Just a few house rules. We've already kind of introduced ourselves, but if you could please, you know, keep yourselves on mute so that we don't interfere with any of the speakers for today. Not only that, we're going to actually hold all questions to the end. So if you have a question while you're uh, in the middle of orientation, make sure you jot that down. So you don't forget. And when we get to the end, we're going to go ahead and let you ask away all of those questions. And we're going to make sure that you leave here knowing exactly what it is that you needed and wanted to know. So we're going to talk today about a little bit about who you are, meaning our purpose. We're going to talk about the vision of Kingdom Ambassadors and where we are going, and then involvement, how all of this applies to you and how you can be a part. Amen. And like we said, we're going to have the questions at the end. Next slide, please. So you guys are very familiar with Prophet's face all the time. And I get on there and talk every now and then. Um, and we definitely see Brother Chris on a weekly and recently Minister Deborah. But today we have a couple members we're going to introduce you to who are a part of the orientation team. And that would be uh, Sister Ringer. She is going to do our purpose and who we are. Brother Salim, he is going to do the vision and where we're going. And then Prophet and I are going to come at the end, just so you're aware of what's going on today. Amen. So without further ado, we're going to let Sister Jana jump on in. Good morning, y'all. I got to speak to a couple of people this morning already. Good morning. I'm Jana Ringer. I'm a mom of five and a wife to one husband. And I'm in Amen. the Midwest. <laughs> I'm in the Midwest. And I'm going to talk to us today about our purpose and who we are as Kingdom Ambassadors. Next slide, please. Okay, so we're going to talk about a couple things this morning. Um, who we are. So kingdom, we are in, we want to make kingdom ambassadors, right? We know that we are the church. We are the living stones that make up the church, the body of Christ, right? And so with us being living stones, what we want to do, our purpose here at Kingdom Ambassadors is to develop those stones, right? to grow us and disciple us. And then we in turn can do the same for others. We can disciple them and teach them and train them. And then that's what they're gonna do. Then they're gonna in turn do the same for somebody else. And then as we do that, as we replicate and we duplicate, guess what? The church, the kingdom of God grows. It grows in our homes with our small groups. And we're gonna talk more about that later. It's going to grow in our cities, right? And we're going to grow as kingdom believers, right? So what is it that we're kingdom ambassadors is kind of focused on talking about? And one of our key things is God's end time movement. As we have 
um, gone through, some of us have gone through the end time boot camp, and we have learned that there are some serious things that are coming down the pipeline that the world is not ready for, right? Some believers don't even know or are not ready for. So what we are, we are one piece of that movement that's happening globally in the church body, right? In the body of Christ. Globally, we are this one piece that's talking about how God is coming back. He's soon to return. There are some things that are going to happen that we need to be prepared for. And so the way in which we're going to do this, like we said, we're going to disciple and teach us so that we can in turn teach others, right? And so basically what it sums it up is that we are the forerunners. We are 5 million or however many the Lord wants to use John the Baptist saying, hey, listen up. God is, Jesus is coming back. You need to be ready. You need to know, you need to repent and do all of these things for his second return to be ready so you don't miss him, right? And so one of, uh, we are also focused on getting the believers ready. Like there's trouble coming and we need to be ready. You need to know what's coming, what to look for so you do not be deceived, right? And we're going to teach others to fish. We talked about that, teaching them to, hey, disciple others, bring them into the kingdom so that they know. And how we do that is using the blueprint. Prophet talks about it all the time, Acts 2 and 38, right? Telling people, hey, you got to repent. That's essential. You have to change the way you think. You have to repent. You have to be baptized in Jesus' name. It ain't but one name, right? We've learned that you have to be baptized in Jesus' name. And then come on with the power. Come on, we out here doing stuff. We moving and shaking. We casting out devils. You got to go. We healing the sick. They getting up, raising up. We going to the hospitals, right? In our cities where we live, we're being effective. And we do that through receiving the power of the Holy Ghost. So that is what Kingdom Ambassadors is all about. And we are so like ecstatic pumped we like so geeks that you want to share in that with us amen pat back to pastor juanette amen she said we are lively stones a part of a global movement hallelujah so we are mission focused if you did not know who kingdom ambassadors was before this you definitely should know now <laughs> amen and we have a great mission and our mission is to go out and reach others so that's exactly what we're going to be doing as a body that's exactly what you're going to be doing as a kingdom ambassador as well amen so i'm going to introduce you to uh, brother salim now who will talk about our vision Unmute, Brother Salim. Uh oh, I was I was muted. Hey, how's it going, everybody? How's, how's everybody doing out there? Hey, I, my my name is Brother Salim, and uh, I am out here in Chicago, Illinois, with my wife and two kids, like seen in the picture. And the reason why I just want to share the reason why I joined this ministry is because I remember uh, sitting in San Diego, California, in the church that I grew up in, and and. We're sitting in, in, the, in the in the four walls and I'm praying and I'm thinking to myself, like, Lord, there's got to be something else. I'm, I'm on I'm a military man. I'm on the ship with five thousand plus sailors. And, you know, I'm like, you know, there's got to be something else out there so we can win the lost. So prayed about it. And the Lord showed us, showed me clear as day. And that's why I'm here. And that's why I'm so excited about this ministry. Next slide. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the change of the mindset, transforming, transforming the old mindset into the kingdom mindset. The old mindset being that the, the religious mindset, you know, being that we are the church, just like Sister Jana was saying, you know, we, we, need, we need to transform our, our way of thinking, knowing who we are in Christ. All right. We're kingdom, not just kingdom ambassadors as ministry, but we are kingdom ambassadors and we're here to do a work for God. And, you know, and, you know, and it's all about that, that change of that mindset, of that, that the old tradition. And, and the, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is winning the loss, winning the loss through uh, using the, the, the created content from the, the studios, the KG, uh, KGN studios out there in San Diego, California. Got the good Lord has uh, blessed uh, prophet, uh, us with the prophet pastors are out there 
um, creating content, testimonies, uh, videos to to win the loss, to, to, to basically saturate the airways with the good news. We know the Lord, the um, Satan is, is out saturating, you know, the, the airways with, you know, darkness. And, you know, we need to, you know, us being the body believers, we want to saturate the airways with the good news and take over the airways. And um, it's also using social media, social media, um, you know, Facebook. Yeah, we have our, our Kingdom Ambassador Facebook uh, page. Also the uh, uh, um, YouTube getting out there to to uh, use basically to target and, and market and target the loss right there in the cities where you're at. Right. That's what's so important about this ministry. You know, we're outside the four walls. We want to target right there where you are. I'm here in Chicago and we got Texas and, you know, and, and, and Virginia and wherever the, 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 you know, we are in the body and doing God's work is so important. Um, and then also, you know, when, when in the loss, right. Sharing the, uh, right. Sharing one-on-one, right. So, and, and you know, in this ministry, you know, you might have some individuals that's not comfortable, you know, maybe sharing a gospel, talking to somebody at work or what have you. Um, but with sharing, just, you know, just going and sharing, sharing the videos and the, and the app that I'm about to, that I'm going to talk about, but sharing the videos and the testimonies with somebody, you may be talking to somebody, you know, you may not have, you know, may not know how to explain it. Like, you know, like, wow, I, you know, I'm really feeling what this, this person is talking about. You know, I want to share this video with you. So, you know, that's what it's about, you know, one, one-on-one sharing, sharing the, the, uh, the good news and then growth, right? Growth, or the, uh, we got the Kingdom Ambassador application, the, the Kingdom Ambassador app. It's a app that we're, that we, uh, we're gonna have, we are, it's in work right now. And it's, it's, it's gonna be an awesome app, you know, we do everything's on our phones nowadays. And this app is pretty much, it has everything right there in the palm of your hand on the go. Right, all of the content that's going to be created, um, the, the the videos, the uh, the links, right, and all the the courses, what have you, all in this this application, great application, it's right there, you know. So when you you out and about, and you know you're sitting at the you know I don't know the the dentist office uh, at, at 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 the dentist, and you know you're waiting for your you know you know your appointment or whatever, you can bam, click on it, and you know you just you know, get fed. It's just so awesome. Um, the Facebook videos, lives, and then uh, also small groups, right? Small groups. It's, it's, it's what we're all about as this, this uh, as Kingdom Ambassadors. It's all about the, the small groups, um, the, 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 the church homes, right? The, uh, you know, getting out and, you know, forming that relationship. Like I said earlier, right there where you are, we're here in Chicago, you know, getting out and, 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 and getting with other believers and the loss and having that, that, that network, that church network, right, all over the world, all right, that's, that, is, that is, is our goal, and, you know, and, and happen, just gaining that relationship, and then also uh, large meetings and services, uh, you know, once we get established here and start growing, you know, Pastor and Prophet is going to come out and, you know, and uh, doing, holding services and, and crusades, and so on and so forth. So just so we can target and win this city, all right? Uh, uh, one by one, uh, group church by group church. And it's just, it's just an awesome um, time. And def- this, I, I believe this ministry is definitely what's needed in, in this time of, uh, of what, we're, what, what we're gonna be going through, what we're gonna, gonna see. And, uh, and I'll give it back to uh, Pastor. Amen, amen, glory. <clears throat> What a lot that was packed into that when into where we're going. He said, we're going to be changing mindsets. You know, for so long, we've been focused on, on, um, you know, let me get myself and my family to church. But there is a bigger cause and a bigger picture. And that's what Kingdom Ambassadors is about. We're shifting our mindsets from focusing on small things to the kingdom. And that's what we're supposed to be doing, spreading the kingdom into the world. How? By winning the loss, which is what he reiterated, you know, 
so beautifully. Um, but but winning the loss doesn't have to be such a taboo statement, right? We know that back in the day, you, when you think of winning the loss, you think of going out, standing on the streets, and then and, and shouting from the rooftop. <laughs> but we don't have to only do that method now. We can use our resources. Like he said, we've got a studio that is in the works that will be creating content. How awesome. We share so much on a daily basis. But what about if we shared the things of the Lord? Amen. What about if we forwarded a video to somebody? What about if we forwarded a message to someone? What if we shared the app with someone where they can go on there and at their fingertips have the message of the gospel? So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing, like he said, that's where we're going as a group for Kingdom Ambassadors. So I'm sure you're wondering with all of that, okay, how does all of this apply to me? How can I get involved? Well, that's what we're going to talk about now, how exactly you can help us. The first thing that we really want you to focus on is your commitment to God. First and foremost, know that we are not your God, that the that we serve the very same Lord that you do. Um, and we're asking you to do that by going by what Sister Janice said, the blueprint, Acts 2.38. That says, in case you don't know, it said, Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the Holy, Go the Holy Ghost. Repent. Change your mind, change your mindset, switch it. Like Brother Salim said, we're changing mindsets to focus on the kingdom. We are committed to being baptized in the name of Jesus. And then we were, we are focused on receiving the Holy Spirit so that we can go out and, and uh, win the lost as Brother Salim talked about. That's all part of the great commission. He said, go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But what is that name? Amen. We learned that in Kingdom Ambassadors that it is the name of Jesus, hallelujah. So we also want you to commit to growing. Very key, very key. And how are you going to commit to growing um, in this virtual setting currently? Well, attend everything that we have. We have weekly videos, weekly um, lives that we do, um, weekly sessions. Attend and participate. You know, it's one thing to sit there and put your movie on and walk away and start cleaning your house. You start missing a few details in that movie. But when you sit down, focus on what you're watching, you're able to take in everything that is on the screen. And that's the same thing with us. When you sit down, you turn on your screen and you commit to listening and hearing exactly what it is the presenter or the teacher is saying, you retain and you take in so much. So, so attend and participate. Honesty, honesty is a big one. You can fool us all day but the Holy Spirit knows what's exactly inside of every single one of us. We ask if you have any questions, just come to us. If there's anything that you're not too sure of, let's talk about it. Amen. Be honest with where you are in the Lord. If there's anything in any area that you need help in, tell us. And we're committed to helping you get to where you need to be. Amen. Submit to the vision. You cannot be a part of a global ministry that is designed to win the lost um, and then not win the lost. So submit to the actual vision of the ministry, which is God's vision. Amen. For us, this is the reason that he has not returned just yet um, to take us up out of here. Um, and then submit to leadership. Know that we are, very, we are very much servants as well as we are leaders, and we submit to our own leadership, and we ask that you do the same. Amen. But how? How? I know you're saying, okay, how do I submit to this vision, and how do I help to win the lost? Well, 
you can commit to be used by God in the way that works for you. What does that mean? Some people commit by sowing of their resources. And sometimes it's more than just your tithe and offering. There's people that have the gift of giving and they just give. They know when to give. They know what to give by leading of the Holy Spirit. And that helps to further the, the mission and the vision. Not only that, give of your time. Amen. When someone is needing some help with something, go ahead and call them. Reach out to someone if you haven't seen them in a while. Commit to sharing the videos. That's another way you can be used by God. As Brother Salim said, we have Facebook videos. We have YouTube, in case you all did not know. We have the application that is at its final stages. So commit in that method. Um, to being used by God. Commit to allowing the Lord to use you. Amen. <laughs> That's a big thing. And then finally, we, we ask, okay, we understand this is new for everyone. Uh, maybe some, and, and uh, we definitely know it's new for us, but we ask that you commit to at least one year. Give it your all. Amen. Be at everything. Be on time. Um, give of your, your resources and the Lord, you know, says to give us our, give our tithes. Lord. So we go ahead and give tithes. We give offering, however, the Lord leads commit to being a, a part for one year and we'll watch and see what the Lord does. Amen. And that's all I have. Prophet, we'll turn it over to you, sir. Amen. Amen. You guys can unmute, please. You can unmute. You don't have to, unless you got somebody like, ah, don't do that. Amen. <laughs> you guys can unmute. Amen. And uh, we're going to answer some questions and talk a little bit and give a, a, a synopsis of where we're going and, and the difference. I really want to kind of highlight a little bit of the difference between what we're, what we're doing and what is, um, I don't know what everybody is doing, but the standard of what normally is done. Um, the key is this. If you think this is a traditional church, you miss the whole thing. <laughs> I gotta go, I just wanna go and get my tithes and my offering, get my word and go back. I'm not saying you gotta leave the body of Christ, but you're gonna be very uncomfortable here. And I mean that you don't need a lot of people to do great things. I've learned that you do not need it. Right now, I'm just thinking about this. We have people on here from like all over the United States. Mm -hmm. One of the brothers, he hit us up. He, he was talking on um, Thursday. He's He couldn't be here because he lives in Japan. Um, another person kind of reached out. I don't know if they're gonna do it. We'll find out, I'll talk a little bit more. But they're in the, U, uh, the, the UAE, you know, so uh, I just got off the, the phone with a, a, a pastor from Pakistan. They're excited. They're calling li literally every day, excited about April 12th of this, this month, where they're going to begin to go through and learn the blueprint. The same stuff you guys have been hearing, they're like starving over. And they keep sending me pictures. Look, it's, when, when you send it, we've, we've already got, you know, five villages, six villages. They're all waiting for the materials. And what we're going to do is these people are going to continue to be trained. I believe it's going to go beyond Pakistan. It's going to go beyond India. I think it's going to go beyond Kenya. I think it's, I definitely know it's going to go beyond there because there's a bunch of pastors I haven't reached out to in Nigeria that I'm already in contact with. And I, when, it's, when we begin to grow, we are going to need to equip teachers to teach it. I'm not trying to teach everything. Amen. Some of you all who were here at the beginning, remember me saying that. Matter of fact, I always say, remember I said this. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite term. Remember I said all of this stuff we're talking about is going to be critical. So who's, who's hungry? Who wants to go and do it? Those that are the commitment. And this is what we meant when pastor was saying, commit for a year. It's not that we want you to commit for a year and be like, woo, dear my year. <laughs> I'm out. I'm going to go to First Baptist. They don't be requiring all this. <laughs> That's not what we're saying. We're saying 
when you commit for a year and do the work, what's going to happen is you're going to have a massive transformation. Number one, I know that for a fact. A friend of mine joined a, a ministry that we did in Japan, similar to Kingdom Ambassadors. It was a prototype, I like to call it, for KGN. And when he got there, he was like, what is the New Testament? I keep hearing you say the word New Testament. He committed all the way. And in six months, he was leading the class that he <laughs> got saved in. Six months, he was leading the class. Matter of fact, the next church that he went to, because you know he transferred, they went there and within a month, they were like, you need to be an elder. How do you know all of this stuff? You When did you get saved? You got saved seven months ago. What is that? It's because he committed. That'll be number one. But number two, it will show us that you're down. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that ain't no, uh, I probably should say it a little differently because some people didn't grow up in my era. But when we say you down, that means that you are all the way in. You're all the way in. You're, it, it's not, you're not double-minded. You're single-minded on the mission. Amen. And I believe that God will do great things. So look, I want to open it up for questions. Anybody have questions about any of the things, who we are, mm -hmm. or what we stand for, if you have questions about that, where we're going, if you have questions about that, uh, like how are you going to do services if we're all spread apart? I'm giving some hints, some ideas. And then finally, how you can help. We'll open that up. You can just I would, I would like to know, so I can write it down while I'm sitting here, where do I send my tithe and offering? You send your, Pastor, I'll let you answer that because we got like five ways that you can do it. But we right. Well, that's, I'm so glad you said that because we actually just um, <clears throat> set up a texting to give service. Um, it's going, it's all going to be a part of the app, but it actually works now. So if you like, there's a few options, text to give, there is cash app or set up a Zelle transfer through your bank. Um, okay. Those are the, the, the best methods. And that texting phone number is 619-777-7777. Five four six four. And what is the Zelle? Zelle, when you go, I on have that. I have that with my bank, so that's probably what I'll be doing. Yes, and the, what you do is you'll put the email address of K A G N, which is K A G N H Q at gmail .com. and You'll see it, our name, Kingdom Ambassadors, pop up. And for those who prefer Cash App, it is dollar sign K A G N. Mister, yes. can you throw those in the chat? I sure can. I can't to, write that fast. You, yeah, you'll also be able uh, to give uh, through the app. The app will have like where you can just literally give. You can put it on monthly. You can put it on whatever, and it goes right to Kingdom Ambassadors. Even though. Uh, I'm not big on 501c3 organizations, corporations. I understand that we just do things in, in the nation that we're in. Does that make sense? So they won't come at you. I know of a person I really look up to. He said, you don't have to do that. The constitution and then 10 years after his prison sentence was up, <laughs> you put him in jail for 10 years and he was saved. He is not an evil guy. He didn't steal money. You just have, you have, they just, it's just the, the world we live in. Amen. Also, I want to say this about giving. We believe that you do things by example. I'm not going to tell you to give your tithes and offering if I don't give tithes and offering. We don't give tithes under the old covenant, but we give it under the new covenant. Most people don't know that the, one of the first things that God did was tithing. And that was before there was a law. There was bef that was before there was a Ten Commandments. Abraham gave tithes. So we personally, Pastor and I, we both give tithes of any money that comes to us individually, which brings our money corporately to KAGN. And then KAGN itself, of all the money that is brought in, a tenth of that goes to the, the ministry that we are covered under. So we believe in it 100%, even though you don't hear me talk about it often. <laughs> That's true. You don't hear me talking about it often, but it is a powerful tool. 
that has kept us. All right, any other questions? Would we only meet on Thursdays and Sundays? Hi, I'm sorry, this is Tia. Okay, I'm sorry, I was looking around, you saw me <laughs> looking. Hey, Sister Tia. So we meet, as of right now, we're meeting on Thursdays and Sundays. This is because of COVID-19. Uh, we're probably getting ready, well, not even probably, we're about to phase back into um, groups, but we're gonna do the groups a little differently. So we'll be, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to teach, pastor's not going to teach or anything like that. We'll still be meeting one of those two days, but the other one will be filtered towards that. And then we're going to be implementing a series of workshops monthly that's separate. So, and we're not going to blast you. So if you get, you're like, dang, I got to go Thursday, Sunday and go to the workshop on the week. I'm not trying to do it. We're not trying to do all that to you. The week of the workshop, it won't be any of those Thursday or Sunday meetings. We'll all go to the workshop and they're going to be off the chain. We're going to be teaching you about the prophetic, how to, uh, intercessors works. We got a million of them and we're going to literally be doing sometimes two a month. You're going to, it should be where you're going to receive more teaching than so you ever have in your life. So we do it on Thursdays and Sundays for right now and we'll continue to do it, but we're getting ready to ramp it up. One of the first courses we'll be teaching is a teacher's course, but I, I, even that doesn't mean you're going to be a teacher, <laughs> but we're going to teach you how to teach. And then some people, as the Lord leads, will be used to start training people overseas. Now, some of y'all like, if that ain't your gift, don't worry about it. We're not going to put you up and you'll be like, oh my God, I got to talk to all these people from India. I don't want to do it, right? You don't have to worry about that. We won't do that to you, but we're going to find out what your gift is and help you flourish in it with with no mess so if you, even if you like to sing you know praise and worship i like i used to sing praise and worship a lot but the one thing about praise and worship people after they start they feel like they're slaves <laughs> some of y'all who've been praise and worship know what i'm talking about you're like oh my god i don't even want to go up there today we didn't fought in the the the, the rehearsal so we're not going to do all of that fellowship without the foolishness all right. So that's what we're doing right now, Sister Tia. We're going to be meeting, continuing on Thursdays and Sundays, but you're going to start seeing one of those days will start to change. You're going to be like, wow, he's not teaching this day. He's, he's, a, he's asking us questions. I did a quick dry run on one of the Sundays. I don't know if you all remember that. Mm -hmm. I came and just asked you all questions. The, this is by design because I want to show you how to do it. Before, so then you can say, wait a minute, we could kind of do this. If I got a couple of my friends together, we could do this. And that's how you win them. They're going to be like, where did you get this information from? I'm glad you asked. We're going to be meeting on Thursdays and you can come on there and then boom. Does that answer your question? It does. Thank you. Amen. Anybody? Yeah, and I'll just add to that. Just remember currently too, you know, even though we meet on Thursday and Sunday, you got unadulterated truth on Tuesdays, every Tuesday. Um, I'm on Mondays. And then you have Wednesdays, we have the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, where we're currently going back through Revelation 101. So there's a, a plethora of things for us to do throughout the week. But he's right, we will be growing into who the Lord called us to be, which is small gathering groups to affect and infiltrate, as Brother Sleem said, the, the cities. <laughs> yes, and just to throw this out, uh, we have something that's already set up that will be revamped once I, once I and Pastor, you know, choose someone to do it. They'll take the teachings that, you know, from Unadulterated Truth and all of those different ones and put it in a podcast that you can use, you can listen to on Spotify. It's already up. You, if you type in Kingdom Ambassadors in your Spotify or in your Apple Music, it, our faces will come up on there right now and there's teachings up there. So it's gonna be set up where you can listen to it in the morning if you missed it. You get what I mean? So we're gonna have a bunch of stuff for you and um, that, that will be there to equip you. You know, we're gonna do some things with children as well so your children can listen to it and watch it. So these are things that are actively coming down the pipeline. When I say actively, I mean like we're in the final stages of the app. When I say final stages, like we got to do a run through with each other and then the people who are creating the app and then it's in your Apple store or your Android. Some of y'all Android like, hold on now, we team Droid. 
Right, right, Google Play Store. Google Play Store. All right, anyone else? Let's. Brother Salim has his hand up. Hey, Amen. Go ahead, Brother Salim. Yeah, I, uh, actually, my wife had a question real quick. You answered one. This is Andrea. Hey, you so answered, wonderful. hello. You answered one of the questions, which was about the app, if, if it was ready, but you just answered that. So the other question is, what is the um, the YouTube, um, I don't know, uh, name? The, how do we get to it on YouTube? You can type in Kingdom Ambassadors Global Network on YouTube and it'll come up. The YouTube videos will all be in the app. So the, the, the purpose for it is we are going to use targeting digital marketing, a digital marketing strategy. So as we see believers are serious in their city, like committed, we will invest the money from your tithes and offering into reaching a, cert, a certain, a specific targeted amount of people in that city and the goal, one of the goals will be to have them, I'm trying to say it simply, they, they'll be taken to a course or a video or a movie or something that will tell them the gospel. And then if they wanna know more information, one of the things, the steps will be download this app. And we do that so that as they begin to watch the videos on through the app, the YouTube views will go up. Does that make sense? and it'll get more notoriety through YouTube. But right now, in the meantime, if you're missing, like, oh, I didn't see this video, I didn't see that, they're all being uploaded on YouTube. So you can go and watch them right now. I wanted to kind of back up a little bit from the Facebook Live because the, the church has been trained to sit back and just hide and listen. It's like, we're trying to get you to another step. We are trying to get you to being involved. Because you can do that. If that's the case, you can just stay at home and watch TD. There's a lot of people that can teach and pre preach, preach. I don't know if preach is a word, but they can preach, preach, preach way better than what you will hear from us. But it's about the involvement. Glory to God. Are you going to be involved? Like, oh, we're working together to help my family get saved. Amen. So, yes, you can go on YouTube. I'm giving a little bit longer answers because I'm trying to just kind of hit things. Amen. Anyone else? Okay, uh, nobody. I got another one then. <laughs> you can fire off. This is the time. If you're going to ask them, this is the time. Mm -hmm. How are the small groups going to work? Oh, that's a deep, that's a big question. <laughs> but <laughs> there'll be, there'll be, we'll probably initially, and this is still in prayer, we'll probably initially start off because it's not a lot of us. We'll start off by time zone and probably online. Okay. You can do that. Uh, you could, that's where pretty much churches that have small groups are meeting online. However, comma, the way kingdom ambassadors, a normal, I want y'all to kind of see me, a normal church does this. They have a church building and they get people to come in that church building. And out of that, they separate those people into small groups. That's not how KGN will work. We're ground up. We're grassroots first. We believe the church is the people. So because of that, we start with small groups. And as those small groups increase, then we establish them as a church. Does that make Praise sense? So, <laughs> so we'll come out while there's a few of you all, we're going to be traveling kind of like Paul's missionary journeys. But, but I mean, I'm not going to go on a rowboat. I'm gonna just fly. <laughs> That's good. I'm not gonna fly first class, but I'm gonna fly so I can get there quick. <laughs> We're not gonna do that, but we'll show up. And then what we'll do, it could be a few of y'all, five, 10, whatever. And then we will rent a facility for that weekend or whatever. And we'll do a course teaching people, healing the sick, whatever it may be, an outreach. And then we'll come in and help you do that. That will help you grow your numbers. Does that make sense? And then we will establish you all in small groups. Starting so, online first and then move. So we're not going to have, you know, where well, you got to have strangers in your house. You just met them. It's like, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable with that. We're not going to do that. And it's important to separate, you know, groups into, I believe home, it's called homogeneous groups. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, 
if it's couples, you want to probably have couples and you probably don't want to have a group of all dudes and one lady. We meet in my house, it's four, four dudes and one lady. Especially if that lady is married, they're gonna be like, you're not going there. And I wouldn't blame them. So we try to do that and keep it in order. So that's how we're gonna do it, sister. I mean, Minister Deborah, we're gonna do it just like that. That's how we're gonna plant the churches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hear what I'm saying? And when I say churches, I'm not talking about buildings. I'm talking about the, the believers in that city who will still be meeting in a service. Does that, did did y'all hear the difference between that? So churches are considered services. Yeah. You say, that's why you say, are y'all not trying to have church? He's talking about the service, right? I'm saying when we establish the church, it's going to be all of the believers in that city that are connected and they're going to meet corporately, but that we're not going to buy a facility because we want to keep adding to that number till we can't meet in this little building anymore, until we got to use Tiger Stadium or, I would love that. I don't know if we're going to use Tiger Stadium. I don't know how God is going to grow it where you are. He might keep them all small in the States and make them huge overseas. His will be done. However, comma, the blueprint still works. We have taken the limits off of the number of people that God can send to us by not restricting ourselves to buying a building. Like one of the first things we're gonna do here in California, we're gonna start meeting and stuff and having things. We got a place right now that seats 200 people. <laughs> we already are in contact with them, but we're not buying it. Why? So the Lord can say, oh, you just want 200. <laughs> no, Lord, we want as many as you can give us. And we're gonna do that through establishing these small groups, Minister Deborah, and growing them outward. So that's how it's gonna work. Now, I know okay. you're a small group leader, so you know there are more intricacies. And I know that, too. We're going to train leaders. And All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Then my next question is, what do you, as my, you you and um, um, Prophetess Wynette, as my leaders, what do you feel in regards to me having a local church or your members having being a member of another church people can partners can be members of a local church right. want to be partners okay however that's going to limit them greatly on what they're going to be doing they're not going to okay. lead any groups they're not going to um they won't be training pastors they won't okay, be okay well um, then i need to that's what i need to know <laughs> <laughs> so and I me, guess I would not be going to a local church. No. So this is what I want you all to think. We're we're establishing a local church where you are. Oh, okay. That's the main goal. Right. That's how I want you guys to think. I know okay. it sounds crazy, but if you, I was telling somebody before, I think it was last Thursday, the church I grew up in, New Bride Missionary Baptist Church, it was not started by a pastor. It was started by the Woods family. Right. And it's, we had a couple of Woods families, but I'm talking about the uh, the wounds. That's, I think, was their name. They did it. And I even think Miss Baker did it. Right. So the train, it was a couple of people. They got together and organized it. Yeah. Well, we're going to do that, too. But okay. it's not going to be a traditional church. OK, I got it. You're establishing a local church where you are, uh, uh, even though it's different groups. So you will end up having churches is wherever it's the city that you got a base. Right. That's okay. right. Okay. Amen. And it'll be a, a very unique. Like I think here in California, we have believers in Escondido, California. We're in San Diego. Where's uh Miramar? Miramar, California. And uh we want to come together. We'll find a centralized place when as we meet that everybody can come to. And as we go along, we're not going to say it all now, but as we go along and you start being taught like how we're going to do so, you're going to be like, that is so unique, so cool, so different. It's not going to be, hey, today we got to have praise and worship. Pastor needs to come out of this particular text. And then we're going to do our, we're going to have, it's going to be unique. Sometimes we're going to come together and have praise dance, praise and worship, prayer, like targeted prayer. And when I say targeted yes, prayer, have yes. individual prayer warriors who've been through the intercessors course come back one after another. Another person begins to declare Psalms 91. It's going to be like, well, and then we're going to have a baptism. A bunch of people get baptized and go home. You're going to be like, oh. praise God. <laughs> the religious people are going to be like, mm -mm. 
You can't do it like that. Why can't we do it like that? And then next week, we're going to have a workshop for a whole month. It's going to be somebody, Prophet came in town and taught this workshop, or we have a series of teachers that will teach it. Does that make sense? We're going to be very unique, and it's not going to be boring and monotonous. All right. Praise God. I have a question. Yes. And I might be, well, two questions. One, I might be a little premature, but um, last week, week before last, I, I asked you to pray for somebody and you say, well, uh, how come you don't get a prayer group? Y'all pray. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, that's a good idea. And so <clears throat> I have a prayer group and I realized other than praying, I don't know what I'm doing. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, right, right. Is this going to be part? I didn't, I didn't say a group, though. I said find somebody else. You wouldn't find a whole team and start. Praise God. It's fine. It ain't illegal. It's not oh, illegal. Okay. It's not yeah. illegal. I said, did you? And I wouldn't say it because I still prayed. I still prayed. I I'm knew you did. Praying. Right. But I was trying to. Some people might. I might have done that to a couple of people. It was a. It's kind of like a. Um, a changing of the mindset. You're kicking us out of the. The, the nest right so then you'll be like okay i don't need <laughs> See, otherwise we'll right. be lifting you and pastor why that up and then yeah. when the devil strikes one of y'all and y'all fail and they ain't nothing me. no good no amen. more amen that's right if i if i if we pass that's what happens at churches that's why they start breaking down i don't know what we're gonna do pastor you didn't know he was gonna die he was gonna die right. he was gonna die Amen. Pastor, I'll let you kind of, you know, answer that that one, though, about the as far as like, what was the end of your question, though? Well, y'all going to teach that? Yeah, we are. We actually that's part going to be part of the workshops like he was talking about, because um, not it's, it's easy to tell someone how to do something, but also showing as a now part I yeah, so that's you know that's part of the workshops that we're going to be doing, and um, and when we come and have the gatherings, like he said, sometimes we'll just be it may just be a prayer service, it may just be worshiping and praying, you know, the whole time that we're there. So not just to tell you how what to do, but to actually show and lead you through it. Yeah. Amen. Were there any more questions? No. I don't have a question, um, but I do want to be obedient. This is Tia. Um, I know earlier um, you asked the question to if anybody want to introduce themselves, um, but I had a lot of background, so I didn't want to um, take it off of um, mute. Wow. But for those of, of you who do not know me, my name is Tia Jackson. I'm always hiding my face because I don't like to get on. Um, and I never really said anything, but I just wanted to you know, say that I'm uh, 38 years old. I'm a single mother of two. Um, this is new for me. You know, like um, Prophet said, I grew up at New Bride as well, but I never got involved. I just go on Sunday and go home, you know. And I started um, online with you guys uh, like the earlier part of January. I was going through a hard time in my life. And Kanisha invited me on, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, oh, I don't want, I don't want to do it. You know, I had just lost my mother. I've been going through a lot of stuff, personal um, issues. So I, I didn't want to get on, but she sent me another text like, "Profit about to start," you know. So I got on, you know, and I didn't say much. I listened, and it was just like it was a change that day. It was a change. I really needed it, um, and then I. I joined um, the, the Zoom again, and throughout that, that I believe it was the second week, um, Pastor Wynette had posted a post. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be short. That's no, okay. And <laughs> when you post your post, you talked about um, what God deserves, you know, as um, far as foul language. And anybody know me? No, I have a potty, I had a potty mouth. And, you know, every word was a curse word, you know, like, so I challenged myself to try to stop cursing as much. And since that day, I believe it was January 12th, 
um, I have tried to stop cursing and every day I will pray, you know, that, that God take it away, you know, take, take the alcohol out my mouth, you know, stop smoking. So I'm, 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 it's hard, but, you know, I, I keep getting attacked every which way, but, you know, I, I, I've been trying since January. I've been trying, you know, and you guys get me excited when I say when I, 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 I volunteer to read the Bible now because I, I could understand it. And you guys make it so clear to me, you know, and I be trying to get my kids involved now. So they sit and they listen. So it, 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 it has really been a, you guys have really been a big blessing to me and I was talking to my coworker yesterday and she told me God is saying one year. I don't know where that came from, but she came up to me. She said, God is Praise showing God. one year. You have to be consistent for one year. So I God. speaking and, and sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm not understanding because I get scared. I don't want to speak. You know, I like to be behind the scene. But when you said, um, Pastor, when you said one year, I knew that was confirmation. So I'm telling you guys, you know, I may not be the first person to jump, but I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to try my best to be committed on any level, on any, on all levels. I should just say that. So I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm here for the long run. Amen. 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 Praise the Lamb. Praise the Lamb. Amen. And we're committed to help you. That's in whatever great. way. And remember, God is going to do the changing. Amen. <laughs> that, all, that song says, if you turn it over to Jesus, he'll work it out. <laughs> he'll work it out. I believe that. Amen. That's so good. One year. What's the chances of that? That's the Lord. Wow. <laughs> that is the Lord. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? i like to say something. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sister Jocelyn. Yeah. Okay, I can't see you. The thing moving. Go ahead. Oh, can you see me? Yes, I can. Yes, ma'am. Everybody, um, I am. I just want to say I'm so excited. Like, I've been. Wait, I feel like I've known you guys for so long, you know, and I've been there from the beginning to, and I've been. I'm so happy to be here to see this going on. You know what I mean? Praise I'm so God. happy that the Lord kept me with you guys. You know, if it wasn't for y'all, I would not have the relationship that I have with the Lord today. Y'all have taught me so much and it just, and I know I need a lot of work still, but I will not rather be nowhere else besides here hey. with y'all. I'm so excited to move. Um, I'm, I have it in me to want to do so much. I have had dreams about it. I have talked to y'all about it before, you know, um, but at the same time, I'm still a little nervous because, you know, I'm like, well, I, you know, you beat yourself up about stuff, whatever. Okay. Lord, forgive me. But I just want to tell y'all, I love y'all with all of my heart. I thank y'all for y'all support. I thank y'all for, for what you do. Um, there, there is a reason why I'm here. I have a purpose and it's about to go down, y'all. Y'all praise God. <laughs> yes. So excited, y'all. So I just I just want to tell y'all I love y'all very much. Um, and and I'm here. I'm here. I, I want y'all to just mold and shape and turn and you know, reprimand or whatever it is. Like, I love and respect y'all. So let's get it. Let's get it. Right. Amen. We love you and Amari. We love you all to heaven and back. For Amen. those of y'all that don't know, Sister Jocelyn was actually a part of the ARC in Texas when we were there. Yes. And so she, we know her physically, personally, and uh, her and her baby. And it's just a beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful people. Beautiful people. <laughs> Amen, and we love her. I do have a go ahead. Anybody who, who is that? Oh, uh, I do have a question, Prophet Guy. Um, so well, it's well, it's two part. One, um, because I am used to being at church, mm -hmm. I do um, at times miss that interaction. Yes, or, or feeling kind of a little bit more connected. So how how is that going to work here? I mean, I understand that that's not how. Um, we're set up. I'm saying, is there going to be a time where we do connect in that way? And then two, um, I, I serve. And so how do I fit into that picture as far as serving? I, I want to be active and doing something. And so how does that work? 
how is that going to work rather? Amen. That's very important. That's a good question. So we are going to be meeting in person. You're in California, so you'll get a chance to do it a little bit more than than probably. Uh, well, no, I'll take that back. We'll be meeting. We'll be having more of a a service. You know, the best way to describe it, the vision of it would be. Have you all ever seen like um time to think. Billy Graham, Benny Hinn, they have services. I don't know if you know that. You usually see them on TV. I'm not saying I'm trying to be Benny Hinn, but what I'm saying is, is that what they do is they have what, what they call as a crusade. In other words, their services purpose is to win the loss. There's a very specific way that they do it. The, and the reason I know it is because the Lord set it up where somebody my mother knew while I was home on leave won some tickets on the radio. This sounds crazy, <laughs> just bear with me. To go into a like a smaller meeting where Benny Hinn was just talking about, he basically taught on how he does his ministry. I didn't know it then, but it was for a purpose. So what they do is they take all of the people, they put them together, you know, and um, what he usually does is when he comes into a city, he gets a choir together, a mass is a choir, and then has all of them invite all of their family and friends to hear them sing, <laughs> right? Unsaved, whatever. They come together and then they try to win the loss. Does that make sense? So we're gonna be doing stuff here, but it's not going to be your traditional style church. We will be having services, but the service will be unto the Lord, and to, the goal will be to win the loss. And there's going to be specific ways we're going to do that. We did we did it we did it in Texas. Matter of fact, Sister Jocelyn, but I didn't obey the Lord. Yeah. And didn't move them to the groups. But it moved quick. We went from like I don't know like seven people to I don't know a hundred and something like. Yeah. It was like full of people, like boom, boom, boom. It was so quick. I was like, it's like a month. One day, it's only a few people. The next day, I'm like, who are all these human beings? I don't know any of them. They just went out and just started doing it. But this time, we're going to do it right. We're not going to build another service that, just like everybody else, we're going to be building believers. So, yeah. yes. Go ahead, Pastor. No, yeah, you're right. And I was going to say, too, the shift in mindset is also when we're gathering, it's, it doesn't have to just be for a service. Right. And so when in the scripture, it talks about they, they met daily by every house, breaking bread from house to house. There's times where we can just get together and fellowship. So we definitely <clears throat> plan on gathering in person. Um, we were gathering in person actually. And, uh, <laughs> Right, especially in this until COVID hit and yes, Detroit was already doing it. Yeah. Wanted to take precautions and stuff, you know, follow the guidelines. But um, yes, ma'am, Sister Stacy, we are going to be meeting. It may not be for a service, but those services are like he said, going to be mission and vision focused, not just to get together, you know. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, and okay. fellowshipping and and going out or um. You know, Prophet likes to have these, um, what if we just got together? I actually heard another church do this recently, but um, what if we got together at a local gas station and just sold in to the people coming and just mm -hmm. said, you know, can we put $5 in your tank for or five? They might cuss you out in California. <laughs> <laughs> but can we put $20 in your tank? You know, we just want to be a blessing to you. And so, you know, meeting doesn't have to just be everybody put your clothes on, sit down, like he's saying, sing praise and worship, you know, this is the oh, script. Right. But we can be effective in, in other ways as well when we gather. So that's uh, an addition to what he's saying. Yeah. Okay. If, if you I have a hear, question. Let me just say this one more thing. We'll go to Mr. Deborah. It, the best uh, 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 way to say it is this. We're trying to plant a simple church. Simple. Mm -hmm. Simple with all of the stuff that has no bearing on what, <laughs> what God's purpose is. 
a simple church. There, it is. I always to ask the question, and it's it's about what Brother Salim said: changing the old mindset. We don't realize that when the church first started, there was only twelve people qualified to preach. Yeah, three thousand so got we're saved. Moving on the tradition. Yes, but we're going to meet. But we have to change that mindset because if not, you'd be like, you going to church today? I, er, you missed it. We don't go to church. <laughs> we are the church. However, we're going to still do it. A brother asked me, he hit me up and said, how do you, do you shake away all of the terms? I said, no, no, no. We just have to correct the, the terms in the minds of the people. So yes, I love to come together. I you know that. <laughs> you know, I love to sing and I love to, I want to be able to do a, a, a lot of things. Corporate prayers, uh, 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 Deborah Carter, you know what I'm talking about, like Bishop Murphy would do. Come on, pray right now for this. And the people begin to pray, oh, a rumble. And we just, we, but we're going to do it differently. It ain't going to be every Sunday. We got to be here on Sunday and we're going, uh, we're going, we got to open up in the, with a scripture, Old Testament, because we got New Testament after offering. We're not going, we don't have to do it that way. <laughs> we're going to do it simply, but powerfully while the Holy Spirit moves. Right. Amen. So go ahead, Minister Deborah. Hopefully y'all getting, I think some of y'all other questions is being answered through these. Go ahead, Minister Deborah. I want to hear what you, what you got. Okay. The traditional, I, I'm asking this because I'm used to the traditional way of doing things. Me too. Tra traditionally, a small group, we would have, um, everybody would come together. We would have a get acquainted session. Mm -hmm. And then we would go into praise and worship, and then we would have prayer, and then we would break the fellowship over food. After that, we did got into the lesson. Right. Is food and fellowship going to be a part of the small groups? If you want it to, if you all want, if y'all want to have food, you can do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Usually, people want a little wing or something. You know what I mean? Or <laughs> something. You know, just to, as you begin to go. And the, the, the lessons will be different. They'll be based upon the teachings that we're going through. Like right now we're going through the power of re, uh, you know, saying we're talking about uh, uh, reconciliation, which we just talked about. You would have a series of questions that did it. I'm gonna, we're gonna write them. You know, we did that and then we did a curriculum. The curriculum that the churches use now is kind of boring. I'm just keeping it 100. But the, I like to ask questions that's gonna make you be like, Ooh. and then it brings out more. So you can add food and fellowship. Everybody can be different. And the way we're going to be set up is going to be a, a very unique than what you've seen in the past. So usually in America, I ain't going to go into that, but in America, they usually use um, uh, five by five. It's a five by five system. I don't know if your church did that or they use interest groups. Interest groups means that you don't have a group leader that's over the groups. So what I mean is you have a group leader over the cell, but there's nobody that they report to. They just have, they just report their attendance and that's it. And it goes to the home church. Those usually don't grow as big. Uh, other churches that have leadership structures, they right. can, they, they're, those are the largest churches in the world. We're going to do something a, even a little different than that because it's not about the growth. It's about the equipping and I think most people want to be equipped. Yeah. You get what I mean? Most people want yes. to be equipped. A lot of the church pe people who came out of church, that's what I hear from them. I never heard this or I didn't get taught this. So that, that always kind of makes me a little, you know, because I don't want to, I didn't want to just bring everybody from other churches, but this is the way the Lord did it. I didn't do it. So amen. But the sinners, they're going to just be able to be equipped from you. All of that experience that you had, that was not for nothing. The Lord wanted to add to it, activate it, bring clarity. So now you can just pour into somebody and see them not go through any of the stuff you had to go through. You know, people talking about you because your dress was an a, a inch above your knees. They didn't put you in hell because you got on lipstick and you know, all that crazy stuff. They won't, it's gonna be a generation that never experienced that. So that food and fellowship and all that stuff, that's gonna be unique to them. They're gonna be like, oh, you guys can do even like when the fellas meet, they might go to a basketball game and then afterwards go and eat and do theirs there. <laughs> right? And do theirs right there. We're going to make it where it's open, where you can 
really have fun and get to know each other. We going any more? If not, we'll end it off. Any more? Amen. We thank you all. I'm trying to demute myself. Oh. That's not a word. I'm just playing. That's my sister, y'all. That's why I'm messing with it. Go ahead, sis. <laughs> okay. So, is it, am I way off if I say that you guys are talking about teaching teachers? Yes. Some people will be teachers. We'll teach some teachers. We'll teach prophets. We'll teach pastors. We'll teach apostles. Oh, so we'll you're going to do the whole gambit. Yes, and it won't it won't affect everybody. Everybody won't necessarily do it. There's a like right now the guys that are pastors, they're teaching. If you were to sit in, you'd be like, "What? He's teaching something. Is te teaching it differently mm -hmm. to the pastors?" So if and with teachers, I could I I don't know about how pastor does it, but I teach completely different to teachers. I'm talking about like structure. You know, tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them, tell them what you told them, how to evaluate. Some teachers on here know what I'm talking about. Y'all heard those things before, how to evaluate, how to reward success, you know, how to set it up. So, and it's different from prophets. You need to know how to pray. Right. You get, what do you mean? Before I don't want you, you ain't finna prophesy. You gotta know how to pray. How do you know to go and get the word from the Lord? So those things we're gonna be teaching them, uh, but everybody will be a teacher in a sense. So if we're going to teach you how to not just eat, but how to fish, then you're going to have to know how to teach somebody or show somebody how to teach. Just show them. Hey, look, this is how we study the word. This is how we study the Bible. We study the Bible that the messages are given. We're taught this is once the message is given, the message was reconciliation. This is how we take that scripture and we were taught how to break it down and it'll lead to other scriptures that just make us just so excited and we grow, 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 grow. This is how we do it. So when somebody comes in and they're just sitting there listening, they're like, you're not writing anything down. Well, why would I? Oh, you don't know how we do it. Let me show you how you can know the Bible for yourself. And you can show them. You don't have to be a teacher, you know what I mean, to do that. You can just be like, no, nah, bro, you ain't going to learn nothing doing that, man. Let me show you how to do it. Go to this website. Go to that. You can go on your phone and then show them. They'll be like, oh, that changed my life. Like what Pastor did. She put that post out about uh, about uh, uh, cursing or whatever it was. And and that, that impacted Sister Tia. It impacted her. Now she knows it. So if she has a friend that comes on, she can say, hey, sis, I noticed you, she won't judge her. When the Lord takes cursing completely out of her mouth, where she don't even remember when she cursed, which the Lord did for me, is when I backslid, I slid into home, the dugout. I just was like, I'm not, I, blah, 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 blah. every other word was MF, if, if, right? Like I didn't know Jesus. Well, when he restored me, when I see someone else, I never judge them because I used to cuss. I could show Amen. you how I was able to be free from that. Right. That's the type of teachers we're going to do it. Some of you are going to be like, that's good, but I want to teach. I want to be an instructor. Right. Amen. We can show you how to do that. But some of y'all are going to just be like, how do I teach my babies how to read the Bible? There you go. Right. We're going to show you how to do that. And you don't have to have well, I was going to say like too, Prophet, we know scripture says that he gives some apostles, prophets, uh, evangelists, teachers. So we know that is a title and an office. However, he also says that we're written epistles being read of men. So basically your life is, is teaching someone else whether or not you know it. So, right. so you know, and all of you parents are teachers. All of the best teacher. Teachers. So <laughs> that's what we're saying. So don't, you know, get intimidated and thinking, okay, I got to get up in front of a thousand people. No. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, I know that's where some people's minds probably. <laughs> or in front of five people. You don't have to get in or front of five. Nobody. Right. <laughs> Amen. That was the thing that we were saying. We we're going to come up with ways to witness. Some people are going to go through, they're going to want to go to the, uh, we want to show them how to, you know, do outreaches to nursing homes, stuff like that, jails, how to get, you have to get certain licensing to do all of that. We show them the people that that's what they do. I want to be an evangelist. But then other people be like, I don't want to do all that, but I want to help. Okay, we're going to have a series of 
evangelistic videos that you can share. And to look at this, to take this to the twilight zone, the Lord has opened up a door where for the next three months, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work, but for the next three months, I'm probably going to be, and I haven't decided yet. I think I'm going to do it. Going to be going to one of the top film schools in the country for free to show how to do it. This lady was like, oh yeah, um, your instructor in this class just got an Oscar. This person just, uh, I think they did Netflix. some movie on Netflix or something like that. They're getting an Oscar or something, something for that, right? I was like, what? Yeah, and this person got an Emmy and they're gonna teach you. So the first one is gonna teach you all about audio. The next one is gonna teach you all about how to put your videos together. I was like, is somebody filming me <laughs> knowing exactly what we need? They're gonna show you how to make 30 minute videos that can reach and market to people. I said, that's funny you said that because I'm gonna need that skill set <laughs> in order to market. Absolutely. You know, I know how to do videos now and put them together, but they're getting ready to say, oh no. Yeah, you don't you don't know anything. <laughs> There's gonna be another level. And uh I say praise the Lord. And matter of fact, we're gonna get paid to go to that school. Actually. Yeah. So <laughs> you can't tell me what God is not doing. He's setting it up. Why well, you know what I'm gonna do when I get that information? Teach it for free. <laughs> That's what I do. Oh, you're gonna give it to me? Oh devil, you done messed up. Oscar level stuff. I'm gonna teach the kingdom. I'm gonna raise up a people that can do it. And then I won't have to do it, <laughs> glory to God. So this is, what, this is what the kingdom is about. He's strategically doing it. And he's not just doing it for John guy or Pastor Wynette guy, he is doing it in your life. So to answer your question, Sister Stacey, I'm sorry about the involvement. What we're gonna do is as, we're, as we begin to, uh, um, over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be finding out from each one of you who you are. Like, give me an example. I'm going to use you, Sister Stacey. I know you're a praise and worship singer. The reason I know you're not just a singer, you're a praise and worship leader. Yeah. Is because we literally did that <laughs> together. Right? I was playing. You were the praise and worship leader. However, that might not be where you want to necessarily do right now. Right. And we can't meet. However, we do need somebody to sing on Sundays, and we can hook that up. However, comma, what is it that you want to do? You might want to say, you know what? Prophet, I want to really be, I want to be equipped to teach. So we're not going to just place you. You tell me if you want to do it, we will, we will help you a thousand percent to go to that next level. We do need teachers. We need people that can do stuff as far as like um, uh, video stuff, like somebody to take over the podcast. We have multiple things, the areas that we need it in, but we want to talk to you, find out where you are and then help you. Amen. Give me two more questions if you got, and we can go beyond that, go ahead. <laughs> brother uh, David. Your uh, thing is still muted. There you go. Hey, how y'all doing? Um, I just wanted to um quickly introduce me and my wife. I'm David Washington. This is my wife, Erica Washington. Um, we're here because we understand that it's a a godly structure, right? It goes God me, her, and kids on down, right? But God got to be first. Right. Um, we're also here because of everything you said you're going to do is different. And you actually been able to keep me if that. I can explain a little. Um, I've been to a few churches, but I never wanted to stay. I sat in there and I have a unique gift to feel certain uh, things. Y'all character speaks for itself pretty much, but from the first day I came here, uh, Mama Kanisha entered, you know, she told me about you all. And um, from the first time I came here, I just knew this was it. I heard you talk, I heard the way you teach. You didn't do the, I'm not saying, I don't know if it's <laughs> something wrong with it or not, but that tuning up <laughs> stuff, I never heard you do that. And it always bothered me, like hearing that, like, why, why you have to do that? And I don't know, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but for right. me, I didn't understand why you had to do that extra stuff. And um, I'm excited about this. I don't know if I, I'm not trying to uh, speak in front of like uh, country leaders, but I do have some people I want to talk to about God because I, a lot of people don't believe in him. A lot of people um, kind of attack, especially on social media. A guy yesterday said, why did, why did, 
God believe in slavery and some stuff that I didn't know was true, was true or not. And I wanted to answer him. I wanted to say something to him to understand it. And I couldn't do it. I don't know much. I know that God is real. That's what I can tell y'all. I always believe in God, but I don't know this book. I never, I, nobody never took me to church. And when I got older, like I said, I sat in a few churches and it wasn't it for me, but I'm happy you all was able to keep me. My wife came with me. She's happy I'm here and we're here and I'm ready to grow with you all. So um, Amen. just thank you all. We thank you. And, yeah. and they're a powerful couple. Amen. Their babies are beautiful. And let me just say this too. Um, what you just said is one of the workshops we're going to be doing is something called apologetics. It's not where you apologize over and over again. That's what I thought when I first heard it. I was like, I got to apologize. He said, no, man, that's teaching you how to defend the faith. Mm -hmm. Right. How do you, what the Bible says that slavery is okay. Is that, how do you help defend that? We, I love that. That's one of my favorite subjects in the world, all the different religions and how we stand differently from them. We're going to be doing workshops. So if you want to, we'll not only do a workshop, but we'll do a workshop for those who want to be uh, student teachers, instructors. In other words, somebody who wants to learn it to be able to deliver it. And when you learn apologetics, it makes you almost have to know almost all portions of the Bible because they're going to they're gonna go to different portions to try to trick you. So once you know it, you'd be like, man, this is good though, by the way. You skip all of the Islam and all that stuff. But this is really good. And it makes you know it. So we're going to help you with that. Amen. See what you just did right there? You just showed this is an area where you want to go. And then we'll help that. We're not going to just throw a bunch of stuff out and have you on the usher board and you don't like standing on your feet. You're like, man, I stand on my feet already. I don't, right? We're going to mix it up. Amen. Yeah. Awesome. All right. We're getting ready to head out. Give me one more <laughs> and then we'll go. We got five minutes. And if not, this sister trainer, this sister trainer. Hey, hey. Hi, guys. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah. I am so excited about what's going to happen and what's about to go down. I am totally excited. I am one of, yes, I've been fishbowled. I don't, you know, that's okay. <laughs> you know, I came from New Bride Missionary Baptist Church. And let me say this, I am not downing right. church, okay? But I've always felt like it had to be more to worshiping God and getting the word. I always felt like if you're a church in a neighborhood, that neighborhood needs to know you. Right. And that neighborhood needs to know Christ because you're there. And I always felt strongly about that. So, but anyway, I'm coming on to Kingdom Ambassadors because I want the Lord to use me. I've been in New Bride all of my life since I was an infant. And no, prophet, it wasn't Miss Baker. It was my grandmother, Miss Stanley. That's, that's right, Miss mm -hmm. Stanley. I knew that. I said it later. I... Help. Yes, <laughs> it was my grandmother. So, yeah, we go way back. But I am excited because I want to be used. Mm -hmm. I want to be Hallelujah. used. I don't care whether it's in my family. I don't care if it's my next door <laughs> neighbors. But I want to be used. So I'm totally excited. Now, yes, I'm a singer. I've been singing on the praise team and with Prophet Sister, uh, Sister Gwen, uh, and we have our own praise uh, group that we used to go out and sing. But you know what? I always said, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, if I can just be one of those angels in your kingdom that's there singing praises to you every day, that's what I want to do. Praise but God. I'm excited. I'm so excited. So wherever, however the Lord wants to use me in kingdom ambassadors, I am willing to go. Whatever he say, I'm willing to go. So I don't have no special place right now or special thing that I want to do, but wherever I'm needed, I will be there. But I'm totally excited. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. I keep trying not to do the, uh, the uh, tell y'all all of the different workshops. We only got like eight of them that is in play. And one of them is the praise and worship workshop. 
Oh, you didn't know that was coming to job. <laughs> That's right. And so I'm like, dang, they keep saying all of them. He didn't almost named all eight of them. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sister Gwen. I see you finna talk. Now we're going to keep it oh. short, my sister, because me and you, work, we long went. I'm just playing, y'all. That is my natural sister. I'm with her. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to be under two minutes. I was. That was my question was going to be, um, were you going to have praise and worship workshops. And, and I guess I'll just take it a little bit further because um, I'm praying since uh, that surgery I had and then with COVID sitting a year, not really singing out, my voice, you would not believe it. If, if you heard me sing today, you would probably say, oh, she could never sing. You know, so I'm praying and I'm asking the Lord to show me exercises to get my voice back. Um, and it is growing, it is getting better. So, you know, faith, faith without works is dead. So I've been doing some things that I need to do to, to get it back. But not, not just that, when you talk about the workshops, will the workshops be for, say like if I would like to teach on praise and worship, because I've, I've done a workshop like that before, it was some years back. But if, will you be doing a workshop on how to teach praise and worship? Every workshop will be created where those who want to can learn to be able to teach it, but they're gonna have to show proficiency. So every it, the whole point is to not have one John the Baptist. Yes. And I know my name is John and I was a Baptist, but I'm not a <laughs> no Baptist, sorry. I kind of messed that up. He's like, you, you're talking about Joseph. No, he, he doesn't want, God doesn't want just one Elijah. That's right. He does, and the principle is he doesn't just want one person. Of initially, Pastor and I will be teaching these. Mm -hmm. But the goal is for you to be able, you all to be able to hold them and host them where you are. And we'll open it up. The, the partners will be able to come, but partners, depending on the, the workshop, some of the material, they're gonna, they're gonna have to pay for some of the material so it can so into what we're trying to do. Kingdom ambassadors, you ain't paying nothing. <laughs> you're, you're a part, amen, and that's the key. So you're gonna start to see, you, you those who ne aren't necessarily a part, they'll, they're gonna see, you're gonna see a separation because you guys are just gonna be allowed to do more. And I fought it for, what, how long have we been going, two years? <laughs> I fought it because I was trying to figure out a way to do it. But the reality is the Lord said, no, I want it done this way. And as soon as we decided to do it, boom, 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 just calls, people calling in. Hey, da, 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 da. The lady who's, give me an example, the lady with the, the film school that's in San Francisco, the San Francisco film school, she called me, I left a message for one of the people, the aides that will give me a rundown of just, I was just looking at it. The director called, the lady that's over it, and she saved. And mm -hmm. she was coming home from giving some food to the, some of the people at the nursing home. And as she's telling me, I said, oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a pastor. She said, glory to God. And I said, oh, when we started talking, I said, oh, she a real believer. <laughs> She was like, oh, it's over. And you do this? Okay, we're going to make sure it works. I'm not supposed to be able to go to these classes that she's about to offer without going full time for four years. She's like, oh, don't worry about it. You need this, this, and this. And it was all things I need. And she doesn't know what Kingdom Ambassador is. For all intents and purposes, she thinks I'm a pastor of a local church. But when you do things in order, guess what happens? It works. So what's going to happen is we're going. the order is learn it. Learn it, learn it, then learn to teach it, then show you proficient, and then teach it. Some will just learn it. Some will learn it and learn how to teach it, but never get up in front of people to teach it. Do, do you get what I mean? And some people are going to be out there just like, ah, bow, 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 right? But the consistency, we're going to be looking at multiple things when it comes to being able to stand in front of people to teach. You don't just do that. No, 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 no. I am very traditional when it comes to that. And ministers, I'm even more harder on. Sorry, y'all ministers whose ministers are. 
I believe you're going to have to learn so much. You're going to be like, this is stupid. Why would he make me do? Why did he tell me to write this and then put red all over it like he hate me? Right. So <laughs> I'm gonna, OK. My wife just told me to shut. Up. All right. So, look, we're going to end it. D Brother David, you had another thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. You don't have <laughs> my wife wanted to say something. Come on, Erica. God bless. I know I don't speak much. I don't think you spoke at all. Uh, actually, um, so I did want to um, just did, I did want to hop on here and tell you guys that this because um, I'm not expressive with my my face or anything. So I, I sit here and I'm listening. But this is where I belong. This is where we belong. Um, we pray. I prayed on it beforehand. I've been in church all my life. I don't have deeply religious parents. So I had to kind of force them to go and I didn't get a good understanding of things, but my interest had always been the end times. It felt like, uh, i trying to watch my words here, but a lot of other things were for love, for me. Right. It, and when I would go and ask, so what does this mean? What in Revelation, when he said, <laughs> um, he would spew you from, uh, he would spew me from his mouth you know, I don't want to be lukewarm. What does that mean? <laughs> you're, 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 yeah. too young. you're too young in Christ. Stay, you know, stay in there. But it, it was interesting. It, it, it resonated with me. What do I do to not be lukewarm? And I couldn't get that answer. Mm. Um, so we we fell out of, out of church. Well, I did for quite some time. And we got back on with this and it has shaken my faith. It has increased my faith. I am very happy that it's something that Dave resonates with. Cause I said, you know, we need to get back in. We need to find some place. And he's like, oh, I don't know these pastors, <laughs> you know, they're always asking for things and this and that. I said, well, I want something for us. So this is for us. And um, I, I am, I'm, very um very shy and introverted so i'm like how am i gonna do this <laughs> how am i gonna do this he said you know we're gonna have to do stuff i said i know i'm, I'm gonna do it whatever it is we're gonna do it. i just don't know how i don't know how i'm gonna do it i have interests i don't know what my gift is um but i'm willing to i have a lot of lots of talents but i don't know what god wants me to do right. so this whole orientation i you, you guys probably didn't realize tearing up a little bit i said Yes, we got workshops. We're gonna have this, so I'm I'm confident that whatever it is that he will prepare um, me to do, us to do, and I just want to say that I am excited even when I don't show it. Look, you see, I'm over here ear, smiling ear to ear. My face hurt almost. I'm just so happy. We. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me bring my wife back in. I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't have her in here. Hold on. No, you're fine. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. We've been married twenty. I know. Amen. <laughs> Let me bring my beautiful wife in. But we were we were sitting there and you did the video for David's uh, uh, birthday. And yeah. first you hit me up. You said, hey, prophet. Uh, he was like, uh, I'm thinking of doing this thing for Dave. I was like, who's Dave? I was thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was like, really, prophet? David. I said, oh, David. I know David. I don't know Dave. You know, <laughs> so we saw, we were looking at the video. I said, oh, she got skills. We got a lot of them. I said, man, that was so beautiful. I was sitting there like, you were showing the pictures of y'all just so happy. I said, oh man, it's beautiful. So look, we are excited to have both of you all. We're excited for every last one of y'all. Let me say this to you all. We pray for you every day by name. Yeah. <laughs> I just want you to hear that. I'm not playing about that. And I'm going to teach you how to do that, how I do it and not how you, you can do it how you want. But what I do is I have your names written down. I know pastor has their own way too, but I have it written down and I have specific things next to your name. And I say it on Monday and every other day I lay hands on it three times a day. I'm praying for you and I want you to pray for one another and become that. Not so it can make KG and look the bomb. If the Lord says, stay this size until Jesus comes back. Amen. But we can reach a lot. That's right. We can warn everybody. He didn't say everybody will accept it. But if that's the case, then we'd just be fat and happy in the Holy Ghost, <laughs> shouting and having our meetings and doing all of that. Amen. We're going to do it anyway. But I don't believe it'll stay like that. I don't believe it. Every time I think that, 
somebody calls me and says, the Lord gave me a dream. And I saw all these, they always say young people. Everybody is saying young people. So that's, I guess that's who we're going to end up reaching. Amen. We're going to reach out to old too, but we're going to reach young. Amen. So we're going to get ready to end it. There's no one else going once, going twice. Will I be able to look back at the, uh, my internet was acting up and I couldn't get on. Will I be able to look back at the, at the we're, recording? To we're, we're recording it and it'll, we'll, we'll put it up on uh, the YouTube page. We will. Okay. Well, on the YouTube page, everything okay. is up there. Amen. We'll put it on the okay. YouTube page. I wasn't at first. That's why I recorded it and didn't have Brother Salim or Brother David and him to record it. But then once you said it, I said, I guess if somebody's internet is messed up, they, you know, so and we'll put it up there. Time zone like Japan. Yeah, Japan and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, Amen. Yeah. So look, Father, we thank you, Lord. We, we magnify you and we bless your name. I thank you for these people who are on here today. These 19 souls that are on here today, and even those who will be watching it, that will come on later. I pray that you would use them in a mighty way, that we can be a strong foundation in order to win and to reach the masses. And Lord, we give you all glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.